if you have already completed learning JSP and Servlet, and if you are thinking which one to use in your web application, then I must say you must use both of them because both Servlet and JSP has some unique correspondences and role. So now you must be wondering how we can use both in a web application. So that's what we're going to learn in this course. So it's going to be a mini course around one hour of content where we are going to discuss about the most popular design pattern nowadays called MVC design pattern. So we are not only going to talk about it theoretically, also we are going to create a small little working web app here uh, by following the MVC design pattern, right? So uh, first question here that why should we learn MVC? Uh, because, uh, you know, it's a very good thing to put in the resume nowadays because everybody uh, I mean, every company looking for a programmer or a developer who has kind of understanding in MVC design pattern or MVC architecture. But the actual thing is, you know, uh, all the web application nowadays actually following this particular architecture or de design pattern called model view controller design pattern. So if you want to sustain in the IT industry nowadays, you most probably need to have this basic understanding on MVC. So no worries, we are going to learn about it from scratch we're also going to create a web application i mean a website a kind of a small website here by following the mbc uh, design pattern so the next thing is uh, you know we're going to learn in this course is you know some of the best practices some of the uh, uh, fundamental that you need to keep in mind uh, when you are working with this particular design pattern we're also going to cover that in this particular mini course all right so uh, What's next? Uh, so, who can go with this course? What What are the prerequisites for? Uh, I mean, to go further with this particular series of videos. So, if you have a kind of basic understanding with JSP, Servlet, and JDBC, then you are good to go with this. And also, if you want to kind of learn a framework like Stars or Spring MVC, but you actually don't really know about MVC pretty much, then you can use this course as a starter course. Um, you know to get some basic understanding or scratch level understanding about MVC and then you can happily learn that. So uh, in this perspective, you can use this particular series of videos. All right, so in the next video, actually I'm going to talk about the basic MVC workflow. So I have separated that particular video with this because that's the most important thing that you need to learn from this particular uh, series of videos. So let's understand the basic workflow of, M of MVC first, then we can get into the coding and can uh, create a small little working website, all right? So I'll see you in the next video, and uh, if you want to you know, uh, get the notification whenever I upload a new tutorial in this particular playlist, then please do subscribe to my channel, and of course it's free. All right, so uh, see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and happy coding.